being inducted into the Alabama Broadcasters Association Hall of Fame is a huge honor. One recently bestowed on our very own Mel Showers. He's been on the air for 46 years. A group of us here at WKRG recently traveled to Birmingham for the ceremony. Tonight, we give you a chance to see parts of Mel's acceptance speech, one that earned him a standing ovation. There's so many people I need, I need to thank. I started back in 1969. WKRG took a chance on me. Mel began his speech with an attitude of gratitude and a dash of humility and humor. I don't deserve this, but I'm not giving it back. <laughs> He talked about overcoming critics early on in his career. Those early years when the hate mail would come in, not quite used to and not quite ready for a person of my complexion to hit that air. But I kept smiling. Mel even pulled out his file of insults, jabs he's affectionately recorded from fellow employees over the years. He shared one of his favorites of a reporter teasing him in the newsroom. And he says, Mel, I see you're pulling on your wig. <laughs> and I turned to him, I said, wig? He said, the lady the other day was asking me about your wig. I said, wig? I said, this is not a wig, Wendy. I said, don't you tell people out there in the streets that I have a wig. I said, this is my real hair. And uh, our director at the time, one of our directors, her name was Sue Mooney, she said, yeah, Randy, you know that he, that's not a wig. If he had good money to pay for a wig, he wouldn't buy one that looked like that. <laughs> After the laughter, the mood changed. Mel shared something very personal. When my father died in 1992, I did not cry. And I love my father because he's the reason I'm in broadcasting right now. He pushed me into it. He died in 1992. I did not shed a tear. Not because I didn't love him and I didn't miss him. For some reason back then, men didn't cry or weren't supposed to cry. I didn't cry. Though Mel Showers is in the Hall of Fame for a successful, visible career, he is a very private person. But as he ended his speech, he let us in even more to show how much the honor means to him. He talked about losing his baby girl, April Showers, at just 34 years old, and Linda, his wife of 44 years. My daughter died in January of 2011. And I loved her so much. I didn't cry. One year later, exactly, January 2012, my wife died of cancer, just like my daughter. I didn't shed a tear. But today, you might see me cry because my dad, my daughter, and my wife are not here to share this moment with me. And I thank you all very much. Many members of Mel's personal family also traveled to the Magic City to watch him be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I want to share a couple of photos with you. Here he is with his son, Lil Mel, who came in from Dallas, and Mel's dear 94-year-old mother, Mrs. Annie Showers. Here's another picture of Mel with his mother and three of his ten siblings. And his family, your family, Mel, all so proud of you, and your WKRG family equally proud of you. Congratulations, my friend. I was honored and... Thank you very much. Now